my darling viewers, it's Jen here at Chakra Joy. This time I'm reviewing Simpsons Comics, Get Some Fancy Book Learning, and my copy is signed by Bill Morrison, which is really awesome. This is a collection of Simpsons Comics from Bongo Comics. It is specifically issues 62, 70, 76, 126, and 148. Um, there's also a lot of artists, so I'm going to put them down in the description below, but it is The Simpsons Tellings on Greek Myths, Aesop's Fables, um, Fairy Tales, uh, Shakespeare, and Bible Stories. Um, so it's just these stories Simpsonified. Some of them are more literal translations than others. Some of them really are playing it fast and loose with these stories. The first thing we're exposed to is Greek myths in which Homer is trying to entertain these children. Um, it's all set in the Greek era where he's just trying to be a storyteller and tell them these stories and entertain them and they all have like our favorite Simpsons characters showing up and being these main characters. Um, so here's like Hades and Persephone where we have Lisa being Athena, Marge being Persephone, and Homer being Hades. Um, Tons and tons of Simpsons gags running throughout these um, references to the show. We've got um, Bart up here, like skateboarding through the town, <laughs> causing his normal havoc. If you love The Simpsons, you you're gonna love The Simpsons comics guide. We have Ned Flanders telling all the Aesop Aesop's fables, like the tortoise and the hare. The fairy tales are Lisa trying to convince Rod and Todd that these are like interesting stories and that they're not um, all the Disney versions and kind of exposing them to like the real Little Mermaid um, with mixed results on you know Ron and Todd's half but like there's tons of like Simpsons takes. So like they did the princess and the pea except we have Mr. Burns as being the prince and Smithers being the one testing to find out if he's really a prince. And then we have Arabian Nights where Marge is telling all these stories to Mo to kind of distract him. And then the Shakespeare, wow, Shakespeare is sat around them doing one of Shakespeare's plays and then Lisa's trying to convince them Shakespeare's not boring by telling them like the best Shakespeare stories and having them Simpson vibe. So we've got um, Skinner and Mrs. Krabappel being uh, Anthony and Cleopatra. And then for Bible stories we have Bart uh, trying to tell Ron and Todd stories because Sunday school got canceled that day and Bart's like, well it's not all that bad, I know these stories. And so it's Bart's takes on the Bible stories. Um, so all our favorite like Simpsons characters show up in here. Uh, Grandpa, Maggie, the Flanders. Um, it's tons of fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, it's hard to really explain this without telling you like every joke that happened, but also like you should go read it and experience those jokes yourself. Um, basically, if you love The Simpsons, you should love the comics, and if you love these different stories, then these are really awesome, fun takes. Um, there's plenty of running gags and just entertaining pieces, and yeah, it's a comic book guy telling the story of the shadow. So, yes, I recommend it. Simpsons, uh, get some fancy book learning, and really just any of the Simpsons comics. Um, I also love the fact that the Simpsons comics tend to be one-shots, so if you can just pick up one individual Simpsons comic, then you don't need to have read any of the others and still, like, find it entertaining and amusing. Um, there are references back to the show, there are references back to other comics in here, too, but they're, like, throwaway gags that if you miss one joke, it's not, like, the biggest deal in the world because there's so many other things in here that are, like, really fascinating. I would say that all the art style in the specific issues are the art style of the show, so there was nothing in here that didn't feel like it was The Simpsons. Alright, it's hard to just review comics like this because I don't want to spoil everything, but go check out The Simpsons comics, go check out Get Some Fancy Book Learning. Yep. So peace out, I love you guys, and keep reading. Bye!